Hello and welcome to my rookie review series where I'll showcase some of what I've learned from each rookie over each round and whether or not they are a relevant selection for your side. Now I'm not going to sugarcoat this one because let's be honest here, every rookie on screen is far from relevant. You just simply would not go near him. Now that's okay because last week's rookies that come through are yet to go up in price. So if you missed out on anyone, you can bring them in. It's as simple as that. And for that, I will have my round one rookie review link in the description. I did every single rookie and summed them up to a T. I think I did that quite well. So I highly recommend you guys go check that out. But look, for all time's sake, I will go over each rookie here and just see how we go. Look, We'll start off with Heath Chapman. Look, a highly anticipated rookie that we were hoping to play round one. Didn't quite make it round one, but we got him round two. 148k, plays for Fremantle, so I think this, the job security is pretty moderate. Look, I think they might play him. It's tough to see, but only scored the 42, and with that, I don't think it's worth it at all. I'll just go pick Highmore or Kozitski or, yeah, whoever really, anyone else but Heath Chapman. Let's be honest, that price, there's just no way whatsoever uh also here we got nicholas murray for adelaide look i don't mind this selection because he is 102k he's pretty cheap only scored the 41 but because he's at adelaide i do see him getting a little bit more of an opportunity and he could probably eventuate in a loophole but yeah i'll still avoid him as well and try consider consider someone else that did play last week Next bloke here is Jackson Pryor for Brisbane, another defender, 123k, only scored the 23. It's not going to cut it. Look, this bloke is simply not AFL ready, and I just would not go anywhere near him. He'll get dropped this week. I don't think he will play. So yeah, job security is poor, and he is also a player that you just simply want to avoid. Now, the midfielders, unfortunately, there weren't any over round two, but that's also okay because there were plenty to choose from from last week that you can go get into your side, like Goulden, Powell, uh, Brockman, um, Campbell. Look, the list goes on there. Just plenty. I surely didn't pick every single one of them, so you can make that correction trade. And look, yep, as I keep saying, you can go check all those players out in last week's review and see what you guys reckon. If you really are unsure about which rookies to bring in, especially in the midfield. But look, there's just none that come out this week. Not that I know of anyway. Uh, if there was, just drop down in the comments and let me know who did play, but I couldn't really find anyone. We're going to the forward line now. We have Francis Evans. This is like Tom Morris's younger brother. I can't stress enough how much these guys actually look alike. It's pretty funny in a way. But um, yeah, that's enough of that. Look, 123k, plays for Geelong, scored the 54 I don't mind him as a player. He was probably the standout and the pick of the bunch over round two. Kicked a really nice goal. The boys just got around him. I think he's a bit of a favourite there at the Cattery. So, yeah, I don't mind him as a pick. But because he plays for Geelong, they are so thick. I just don't think he's going to get a run for too much longer. So job security is pretty poor. It is easy to say. I'd be avoiding him. Um... Yeah, wouldn't trade him in. If it was me, I don't have Chad Warner, which is a massive concern, but I have bigger fish to fry elsewhere, which is quite frustrating. I copied a bit of flack in the comments for not owning him. But if you don't have a player like that, someone that you missed out on, just trade them in instead of Evans. Look, they're just better. They're better options, aren't they? Look, so don't go anywhere near Evans. And um, yeah. And the last bloke here is Zach Sprawl, plays for GWS, uh, 123k, scored 33. Ah, uh, yeah, rookie's dead. So look, I'm not going to lie, this video was actually quite hard to record. It's hard to sell rookies to people that are just, let's be honest, quite shit. So look, make sure you do check out last week's review if you are unsure. But let's be honest, everyone at this point should have a very big understanding of who to actually have in their side and which rookies to get in. You just look at their score and it, yeah, it just sort of... It tells a story. You look at bloody Chad Warner with a 94. That's really good. Gordon's nearly averaging 140, if you don't mind. It's just unbelievable. Uh, Highmore's got a really good role in defense. So, look, make sure you just correct these rookies and anyone you missed out on, just trade them in. Look, if you really do, uh, do want to pick someone from this video, uh, the biggest recommendation of all of them would have to be Francis Evans. But, look, that's only if you have every single rookie like Bergman and Campbell and Warner and all those blokes. But yeah, I won't ramble on any longer. Um, yeah, that's just about all I have. Hopefully next week's rookie review is a little bit more better. Hopefully we get Finlay McRae. 
I wanted to talk about Jamar Hugo Hagen when he plays. Doesn't look like he's going to play anytime soon because of a thumb injury. But look, hopefully there are some very good debutants that make their way into our sides, and I will discuss them when the time comes. But for now, guys, that's about all I have for this video. And um, yeah, good luck for this week, and I'll see you in the next one.